Hey, hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your soulmate in love reading for the first half of October 2019. So this is going to span from October 1st to the 15th. <clears throat> what you'll notice about this reading today is that I have some different decks going on. So I just got the Ethereal Visions deck. It's beautiful. It's kind of like Art Deco, Art Nouveau type of style. Um, I absolutely love it. There's a little bit of a glare because of the window, but that's okay. I will let you know what the cards say. Uh, I also uh, am kind of dipping into the Lenormand a little bit instead of an Oracle card. So uh, because I'm so new to these, I literally just got this deck yesterday. I'm going to be using, uh, you know, the guidance book that comes with it. Uh, just to clarify, because I want to make sure you get the right image, uh, message. Sorry, not image. That being said, as usual, uh, we will use the Egyptian Tarot as our confirmation cards. So I'm going to set them to the side. If you are interested in a private reading, uh, there is information in the box below where you can contact me, and I'm more than happy to do that. Good karma donations are always accepted. Haha, <laughs> womp womp. Uh, ooh, we got the Queen of Pentacles popped for you. It was in reverse, though, to be honest. So uh, you might be dealing with a Virgo or another, you know, Earth sign. It's being a little stubborn right now, not wanting to uh, be compassionate, not wanting to let you in. Don't forget to also check your other star signs, because if this doesn't resonate with you, that's totally okay. You probably have tons of other signs based on your planetary alignment, and you can check that out in the box below as well. All right, first card, High Priestess. This is you. The High Priestess, uh, generally upright, means someone who goes by their gut instincts, is very intuitive. But it's blocked right now, so it's in reverse. So this person uh, is probably anxious, uh, probably not able to think clearly, is being logical over um, following their heart or their gut instincts. Next card is your loved one. We have the, wow, Knight of Swords in reverse. Knight of Swords is usually someone who comes in to cut to, through the truth very fast when it's in reverse. It can kind of be a painful type of message, uh, almost like a rude or crude um, message coming through. This is a person who doesn't care if they hurt you or not. They are hurt, so they're probably coming forward with a message of, hey, screw you. You think I'm this person? Well, let me tell you some truth about you. That type of thing. Um, any swords in reverse sometimes can also represent a liar uh, in some way, but that's completely up to you. Next card. This is the energy between the two of you. Ten of swords. Ten of swords in reverse. So that means that whatever has been causing... Uh, pain, which I, whatever has been causing anxiety, is now stopping. Um, it's it's over with. Uh, ten means finality. Yeah, it's in reverse. It can mean that there's a little bit more that you have to go to get through it. But generally, um, the ten of swords means that you your suffering is at its end. Next card is the challenge or the blockage. We have the star. The star is wanting to heal. Uh, generally, this is a Pisces, sorry, Aquarius energy. I always think Pisces for some reason because of the water. Um, so healing, self-rejuvenation, that's what's blocking you. So someone's being selfish, only kind of focusing on themselves, which is that high priestess. Next card, this is what is causing that. Three of Cups in reverse. So Three of Cups in reverse means um, either not wanting to be social, not wanting to go out and hang out with people, but usually Three of Cups in reverse to me is a third party. So someone might be interested in someone else. And that might be causing uh, this pain that you feel here. Next card. This is a past situation that's currently influencing you. The Wheel of Fortune. That's actually a really good card. Wheel of Fortune means that you're moving in the right direction. So whatever you are doing, keep doing it. Um, you are on your karmic path. It might be uncomfortable, but it will move you forward. Next card is going to be uh, something that's currently influencing your loved one, the magician. So the magician is someone who can manifest their own destiny. They have all of the tricks, all of the trades that they need in order to get what they want. Uh, it can also be a manipulative energy, but it's in the upright position. So I'm going to take it more as a positive side. Next card is going to be outcome from your point of view. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Seeing that the work that you have been putting in is not being um, reaped. 
uh, almost like a learned helplessness type of energy. Next one, this is going to be the point of view, uh, sorry, the outcome from your loved one's point of view. We have the Emperor in reverse. So the Emperor in reverse is very stubborn energy. It's a very controlling energy, manipulative energy, uh, which is interesting because you just got the Magician. Be careful with whoever you're with right now or whoever your loved one is because they might be a controlling type of person. And with this Three of Cups over here, they might have someone on the side. You're on your path. You're well on your path. But just be careful. Um, one more card for the overall reading. Three of Wands. Yeah. So no longer waiting for your ships to come in. You're kind of stuck. <clears throat> where you're at. You don't want to move. Okay, let's get some clarifications here. Right, why is this high priestess blocked? Alright, yeah, we got... This has come out, actually, in every reading, upside down. Strength in reverse, so feeling weak feeling codependent on someone, feeling like you don't have what it takes. I just notice words in reverse. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, no longer feeling like you're out in the cold, and the Page of Pentacles, a messenger speaking of prosperity and or stability. This is Ten of Swords. Yeah, three of wands again, in reverse. So your overall energy with that card also blocked. So you're no longer waiting for your ships to come in. It's almost like you gave up. But the pain, like the pain is hard, but it's almost done. Star means healing, so you're kind of on your way towards that. Yeah, I get it. Okay, ace of cups in reverse. So, no new beginnings, no new relationship. Someone, I think someone broke your heart. I, I wish there was a three of swords in here somewhere. Yeah, we got temperance in reverse. So, inability to be patient, inability to... Yeah, inability to be patient, being stubborn. There's a lot of stubborn energy, and it's in these cards right now, man. I don't know if it's me, uh, if anyone else is getting those readings. Yeah, two of wands. Having to make a choice. Having to make, uh, choose your path moving forward. All right, Wheel of Fortune. It's a good card to have Wheel of Fortune. It's almost like the Sun card. Yeah, King of Pentacles. So Wheel of Fortune with the King of Pentacles, there's prosperity coming your way. There's stability coming your way. It may be in finances, it may be in your workplace, or it might also be, um, you know, a loved one. <clears throat> it's most likely you, though. You're stable. You're going to be fine. Even though you feel weak right now. It's this magician. With the high priestess. All right. So the magician and the high priestess actually do match up. But you are the high priestess. Hmm. Can I get another confirmation card on that? Magician and high priestess. My gut is saying that the magician is trying to control you. And you can feel it. You know it's coming. Like, you don't want to be controlled. Yeah, the fool. Taking a blind leap of faith. You might be walking away from this person uh, to take a blind leap of faith. Either that, or you know that they're being controlling, and you're, like, turning a blind eye to it. So the Seven of Pentacles with the Four of Swords, you need to rest and recuperate, come back at it, and try again. And we got two cards for the Emperor. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Again, that was right over there, so that kind of mirrors that. Uh, you guys might be Twin Flames. I know we didn't get the Twin Flame cards popping up, but you guys are mirroring each other with your reading. So not feeling like there might be a control factor here because they feel like they've been putting in so much effort and it's not being noticed. 
and you got the hangman um, in reverse, which means that not it's a stubbornness, again, <laughs> uh, not being able to see from the other person's point of view, not wanting to make a personal sacrifice in order to move forward. Three of wands. Wow. All right. You need to play the lottery. <laughs> um, the Ace of Pentacles is a, is a stable new beginning. It can also mean financial prosperity. So you've got the Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles over here. Um, seriously, go, go play the lotto. If you win, uh, don't forget to uh, tell you who went to go do that. I will always ex uh, accept uh, good karma donations. <laughs> All right, let's get two Lenormand cards here. Two cards for Capricorn. And one card, which is the Fox. Second card is the, the Whip. Ooh, what do we got going on here for a love reading? <laughs> All right, we got 14 with 11. All right. This outcome is combative arguments, strategic self-interest, self-defense tactics to be falsely accused, incriminate someone, and also militant type of attitudes. All right, so here's what's going on. If I'm taking all these things in. You feel weak about something. You d are not listening to your intuition. They have come in kind of harshly uh, and basically said that they're they're fine. Like, they keep saying that they're fine. They're out of the, the cold. But, like, they said something to you to really um, kind of influence you. They're the magician. Or they have, like, the magician energy. Which means that they're able to almost ma manipulate and control you. They, there really might be a third person here. I'm really hoping that's not the case for you, though, Cap. You guys are a really great sign. You're very stable. A new relationship has been blocked and or denied, but you're going to be okay. you got prosperity all coming your way, and you're on the right path. So, yeah, you feel weak right now, but you're going to be fine. You might need to cut this person out of your life, though, for a while. You know, blind, take that blind leap of faith. Step forward. Walk away from them. See where it takes you. Yeah, that's where I'm going to go with that one. Uh, hopefully this resonated with you. If it didn't, that's totally cool. Check out your other readings. Uh, if you liked it, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you back in about two weeks for the second half of October. Also, don't forget about the new full moon readings that I'm doing for your element signs, so check back in about a week for that, all right? As always, Caps, it's a pleasure talking with you. I will see you on the flip side. Deuces.